So along with um, starting an SMP single player series edited, 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 that would be probably once a week. Um, with this series going every single day of the week, I was also thinking of uh, restarting the Athens series. Now that I'm working with people on Athens and it seems like the community is getting interested in Minecraft again. We all kind of got burnt out building massive structures and stuff at the beginning of a survival uh, server. Then you kind of get burnt out and you don't want to do anything because everything is made that is needed. And it's like if I'm going to build a tree farm, I'm just building a second tree farm because somebody's already got one. Or if I wanted to make a golem farm, I mean, there's already three or four golem farms on the server. So how many golem farms do you really need? So that was all. So an iron pickaxe only gets a hundred blocks tunnel. And I am an F3 ho, so um, you'll see me leaving that up a little bit longer than I really need to do. But because I forget that it's there, I kind of block it out. This is going to be an uh, interesting tunnel. I'm wondering if, um, I'm really hoping I'm going to the right place. But why would I write down the wrong coordinates, right? Have faith in your own abilities. So I guess I can uh, cook all this nether rack up and get some nether rock. Or is it, am I saying it backwards? I don't know. <coughs> so I'm thinking of doing the extra single player series. The Athens series, which is the name of the server I belong to. Collaboration series. I'm thinking of possibly doing a... Uploading... Well, doing a weekly live stream for an hour or so of writing music and uploading that um, once a week and I'm also thinking of doing a CTM series fortune silk I want this guy but I'm not a, a good CTM player that I know of I've um, done diversity on my own and got through it okay. Maybe a little cheaty here and there. Um, I've tried like a Vex map here and there. And, you know, I just kind of rush in instead of preparing for it properly. But uh, watching Zisto do his Pantheon, which is going on now, has uh, encouraged me to try the same sort of series. I mean, I'm not going to do Pantheon right now. But maybe in the future. So these are all different series that I have on mind in mind right now. And it sounds like my cat agrees. Yeah, I'm really surprised that this thing is that far away. But at least it would be easier to get to this nether fortress and then I won't have to worry about um, getting myself lost. Because I even came into the nether when I was in here. I was actually looking for the coordinates for the, the blaze farm because I was going to do a blaze farm today. But then I realized I needed sand because I wanted glass so you can see through and look at the blaze water. And I don't have any glass and I don't, because I don't have any sand. And I don't want to go digging right. I don't want to be digging into the desert right near where I am. I kind of wanted to find a desert out in the middle of nowhere so I don't feel bad destroying the, the land. Basically what I'm getting at. 
Oh, let's bring up these coordinates again. We're at 519. So, I think after I get to the other side of this tunnel, or this cave-like area, I am going to start doing the diagonal tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get back up. Where did I fall down to? Uh-huh. The reason why I concentrate so, so much when I make these tunnels is I'm so afraid of the lava. Okay. So let's... Do we want to go that way? Nah, screw it. We'll go like this, then we'll cut it off to just go straight to the right. Yeah, see this is so much faster. I just don't want to waste the durability on this pick because it's a nice little pick. It's a nice little lava hole. But just another 300 blocks. Ooh. Glowstone. I don't even have glowstone in this world. So I'm definitely lacking. And a lot of the <coughs> I'm definitely lacking in a lot of the block that I need. Hence why we gotta do this much needed I'll bet boring job. So hopefully I can get all the ones I want to get done today because hopefully I can make one long tunnel then do little branches off of it in different directions but we'll see then eventually these tunnels have to be widened up to like five high and five wide <laughs> that's gonna be a fun week I mean, I, I enjoy uh, actually doing it, uh, creating the tunnels. It's kind of soothing for me. Um, but it's not something I would want to record normally. But, I mean, who wants to? Exactly. <laughs> it's hard. And, it's kind of monotonous enough to make one of these, never mind record it and upload it to YouTube. <laughs> Is basically what I'm trying to get at. So that's why I've been kind of craving an edited series. So um, the the times of uh, stuttering and spitting and farting and trying to get words out of my mouth uh, are few and farther between. Because this is me unedited. And it's not the most exciting person in the world. Nine oh seven. Oh, another one. Come on. Go away. Thank you. So season has ended. Uh, at my job. Yay! 907. I'll start that in a second. 
Okay. <laughs> I got worried there, and I thought I went to 907 in the wrong coordinate. So I want to go... Not build a hole into the ground. I want to go over here. Another one. A lot of little lava pockets in this area. Yes. Slowing down my progress. I am going to have a bunch of blocks. Maybe I should make a uh, an automatic smelter. Another one. Because I am running into a lot of lava. No. <laughs> An automatic smelter is good. I kind of don't know if I want to do the one with the minecart so I can bring the products. But we'll see. That's for another day. So what I was saying is season has ended officially. So, wow, another one. Oops. pains in the butts. He's going to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. So again, <laughs> season has ended down here in Florida, which means instead of working every single day, I have a few days off each week, but at the same time, the days that I do work tend to be a little bit longer, and it's a little more tiring because now the heat is on down here, as Glenn Fry has so wisely written songs about. Um, so that's why I'm thinking I'm going to be able to do these series pretty easy. Because I'm so far ahead with this series that I don't have to worry about um, keeping up with it. As long as I record once a week, this series is fine. And again, the, the thing that takes the most amount of time with this series is not the recording, it's the editing. And uh, basically every time I leave my computer for more than a few minutes more than a half hour, an hour, I am rendering something. And when I don't have something to render, I record another episode. So each day I can re render two or three episodes, basically. One when I go off to work, one when I go to sleep, and one usually in between when I have family time or whatever I, I do. Whoops. I want to see if this is going to... Nope. We got another... I'm leaving blocks behind, so I'm going to go back and empty my... my inventory, because even though it is netherrack and nobody cares about it, I want to save it. I guess I've been losing blocks for a while. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, but it doesn't matter. Something about work, season, ending, free time, more of it, getting the series out, stuff like that. Hey, little pigman. How you doing, Frankie? When, when I lived in uh, Salem, Massachusetts, uh, Everything's based around. I'm gonna block this off so I know not to go that way. Uh, everything is based around Halloween, so as a joke, when I was in my 20s, uh, everything was a Franken. So we replaced every word and added Franken to the beginning, so I had a Franken cat. 
while I eat while I ate Frank and Frankenberries. <laughs> so I guess the little zombie pigment I guess I'll call Franken Franken pigs. It's almost another way of saying uh what Battlestar Galactica calls Franken. I forget, I, I heard I read something somewhere about uh, gas and where they got the sound from and I want to say it was cat sounds or something like that you know they sound like dying babies mm. I'm going towards positive Z facing south I'm in hell what a lovely biome I don't know what a lot of these things on here really mean. Like, uh, if you're looking at the F3 menu, the third one down, it says C colon 8 something dash 17 4 2 4 S. I don't know what that is. I mean, obviously, I can Google it real quick and I can let you know, but... I don't know everything about this game. Uh, difficulty two point day one hundred ten. My memory. Oh, I have less allocated memory here. Hmm. I have a uh, Optifine um, account. Well, uh, under. What a user account, I guess. You know, in the main tab, you can sign in as KMA's Corner or your name or whatever, and you have you can make other ones. And I have an Optifine one, which does better, but I don't like using Optifine unless I really have to. This is a long ass tunnel, hence why I also need pack ice or something. Hopefully, most of these tunnels aren't this long. Um, I have to get the calculator out to actually figure it out, but let's see. This tunnel is 900 blocks long times 8, which would be 7,200. Yeah, so this is going to be the longest tunnel out of them all, which is a good thing to know. I'm going to make another chest for all these blocks. Oops, might help if I put it in the right place. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, so, um, because the farthest place I have to go out in the overworld is 6,000 and 6,000. So, what's 6,000 divided by 8, which would be, what, 700 and, I don't know, 40, 30 blocks? And this one's already like 900 blocks long, so this is going to be the longest one, and hopefully it's in the right direction. It isn't, though, of course. It's in the exact opposite direction of everything else. Because this is to the north? Yep, to the north. And the only thing I have up to the north is uh, a Mega Taiga. And... What is that? Wow. I can't even read my handwriting. And something else. Oh, mushroom. <laughs> I couldn't read my handwriting because I was trying to find a word. Oops. I have 482 durability on this thing. I don't have that much farther to go on this tunnel um, to make. I don't... I forgot to... Well, I can make ladders when I'm there. The hard part is going to actually be getting to the nether fortress. I don't know how big a drop it is from the ceiling down to the blaze spawner that I want to control. 
And I don't want to control it today because I don't want to uh, deal with a blaze spawner or and stop a blaze spawner without uh, fire protection. Because if you have uh, the potion of fire protection and you're dealing with a blaze spawner, the blaze won't hurt you. Uh, the only time they actually hurt you is when they touch you and you get um, combat up close. Because if they, when they throw the the fire at you, it doesn't even affect you at all. So when you have the fire potion on, it's just like you're walking around some cactus and the cactus move a little bit. <laughs> It'll hit you once. Which is a lot better than other things. So I guess um, when I'm done going through the blaze spawner, this mega tunnel of nasty red color, um, I will make the side chambers, which will only be like 20 blocks long off of this, to get to the other places. But I at least want to get this tunnel in so I can make the farm out of the blaze spawner probably next episode. It's looking like this is going to take forever and a day 